Do you want to build a small online business from scratch? Then this video is for you. I've been doing just that for the past 11 weeks and I've been recording my journey on this channel. My name is Sophie. I have an existing business that is profitable and as part of that business, I teach how to do affiliate marketing. Now, a few months ago, I had an idea. I thought, what if I build a second business for myself? I start from scratch as if I was a complete beginner, only this time I know what, what I know. <laughs> I know what I've learned over the past few years to build my first business. And what if I do that and share this with my audience here on YouTube and also my VIP community, my members inside of my membership called Sophie Circle. My idea was I'm going to show you the process and you can follow along with me and do the same thing or do variations of what I'm doing. And maybe you'll be encouraged by seeing how it's done. Now I've been shooting weekly videos, sharing my progress with you. What I did was I picked a niche where I have a problem. This niche is the decluttering niche. I have a clutter problem and I decided if I can take a pain point of mine and turn it into a business, then that's going to be inspiring for people. I chose YouTube as my platform because obviously I'm very familiar with that platform. So I thought let's start with YouTube. I created my channel on the 19th of September. I started publishing on the 24th of September and I've been sharing every week the updates. How is it it's going? And I've been sharing my ups and downs and my questions. In fact, last week in week 10, I shared with you my, my questions, my, my doubts, my, my feeling that it wasn't quite helpful to people maybe not that interesting to people and certainly quite a lot of hard work for me <laughs> and I wasn't quite sure where this was going. So the first thing I'm going to do as usual this week is I'm going to share my screen and show you how this beginning of a business which is called Sophie Declutters is doing. Let's go. So here we are on YouTube. This is my channel. I have actually not posted anything since I last did the update video which is not very good, but I've been very busy with my other existing business. So let's see how it's doing in spite of the fact that I haven't published anything. <laughs> um, so there you go. The last 28 days, the views have gone down, obviously, because I haven't published anything. The watch time is still up. The subscribers it is well they say it's going down it's just stayed completely stagnant right um if i do lifetime of the channel here's how it's going so i've got 2.3k views all uh, overall 29.9 hours of watch time and 31 subscribers now here's the thing i'm going to take you to my existing channel this channel where i've been recording this right every single week for 11 weeks now this is the 11th week now here's the thing it's not doing terribly well this series right as you can see i've got week 9 i've only got 13 views week 10 29 views week it's like i haven't got any of the weeks above 100 views and the views are one thing but the other thing you always need to look at when you're talking about youtube is the watch time so let's go into my YouTube studio as well. So the first place we'll go into is the analytics. Overall, I am not seeing an increase in views and I'm certainly not seeing an increase in watch time. In fact, as you can see, I'm seeing a decrease in watch time, which means that these new videos I'm publishing are not doing very well. So in the analytics, I'm going to go to the content and look at these videos analytics. Okay, so week 10, I've got 2.4 hours of watch time from this. I have a 27.4% uh, average retention rate. If I go and have a look at this one, 25%. Week eight, 11% only. Week 7, 
18%. Week 6, 26%. The truth is that the retention rate is not brilliant at all, which is why YouTube is not pushing these videos. But it's not YouTube's fault, it's the fact that my videos are not capturing people's attention and are not holding people's attention long enough for people to want to watch the video until the end. If I look more generally at the analytics, I, I can see that my top content for this time is, as usual, my Facebook tutorials. They are incredibly popular on this channel. And I have to scroll all the way to number seven to get this one of the videos of this series. If I then go to advanced mode, and here, if I select this metric, average percentage viewed, this gives me an idea of my most popular videos, which are the ones that retain people's attention the longest, right? And again, we see the same thing. It is all my short tutorials. Generally, my lead gen secret is doing really well too. But basically, th these building a business from scratch are not doing terribly well at all, okay? They're not my worst videos, but they are not doing very well at all. So all this tells me that my audience is not terribly interested. Now I have another metric that I want to share with you as well, <laughs> and that is my membership metric. So ever since I started building this business from scratch, from the very beginning of September, I added an extra hour in my membership for members in my membership. And every Friday, I shared my progress, I shared my tips and my tricks and my behind the scenes secrets. Now, a small group of members has been there every, every single week, very faithfully, very interested in what I'm doing. But I've recorded this update every week and I put it in the members area. And when I had went to have a look at how these videos were doing, they were basically zero views. So apart from a small group of members who turn up live for these updates in my membership, the others are just not interested. It is not something that is helping them. Just to be clear, I'm not taking any of this personally. But I do have to make a business decision looking at the statistics, looking at the numbers. I have given this now more than 10 weeks, which is, I'm coming up to three months. It's asking me a considerable amount of work. I have to shoot quite a few videos. I have to shoot videos for the new business. I have to shoot an update here for YouTube. And I have to turn up live and do another video for members. So it's tripled my workload, really. On YouTube, there's a some thumbnail to do. There's a description. There's all kinds of things to do. There's a significant amount of work, which I don't mind if this is helpful to people. But if it's not helpful, if it's not useful, I do think I have to make a business decision and say, well, maybe I need to give this up. <laughs> so now just to be clear, I'm not saying that my Sophie declutters business is not working. In fact, quite the contrary. I think considering I've been inconsistent with it, haven't posted a huge amount, it is actually doing pretty well. And even though I'm not making any money from it yet, I do think that if I continue, and I do intend to carry on with that second business, I think I will make money from it in the not too distant future. And don't worry, I will keep you updated. However, what I am saying is that the whole documenting of this process for this channel and for my members in my membership, that I don't think is doing well. I have an existing audience on this YouTube channel. I have an existing social media following. I share these videos on Facebook, on Twitter, on my email list in my Facebook group, which has two and a half thousand members. I share all this with my audience. And if I'm getting so little views and such little retention rate of people's attention, it means that people are just not interested. And why are people not interested? Because I'm not doing it in a way that's helpful to them. Again, I'd say this in all honesty, I'm not hurt. 
I'm just noticing. <laughs> so when this happens, you, you get to a point where you need to make a business decision. I need to make a business decision. My time is very valuable. I'm extremely busy and I do quite a few things which my members and my audience appreciates and is interested in. So I have to scrap the things that people are not interested in. So with this in mind, I have made a decision. I have decided that I'm going to continue Sophie Declutters for me <laughs> without recording all my progress about it as a business. I'm going to continue this for me because it's good for me to declutter. And I'm interested to see where this goes. However, I'm going to stop sharing my progress systematically with members in my membership. I'm going to stop inviting you viewers on YouTube to my membership to get more tips, more, ti more tricks, more secrets about this, because this is something I'm basically going to stop. So that's not what you're going to get in my membership. And I'm going to stop making these Friday updates exclusively about this new business. I'm going to basically stop this series of build a business from scratch. One thing I'm not going to stop is publishing regularly on this YouTube channel. I have really enjoyed publishing regularly and I want to go back to that. My only question is, what do I do? Seriously, and if you're watching this, if you're one of the rare people you're watching this video until the end, I would love to know what you would like from me. I'm completely baffled, to be completely honest. I have dozens and dozens of people telling me, in fact, more than dozens, probably hundreds of people over the year who tell me either in emails or in my Facebook group or on videos, who tell me I want help get to get started. I don't know where to start. And whenever I try to show people how to start, it flops, basically. It doesn't really do well. On this channel, as you've seen from my analytics, what does well, really, are very short Facebook tutorials, very short Instagram tutorials, although I don't have many for Instagram, very short Clubhouse tutorials that I used to have when Clubhouse was still a thing and I was active on it. I do have a series that's doing quite well and that's on my lead gen secret, which is a lead generation program that I've been using for like five years now. I still use, that still makes me money. And that's great. I give a, an occasional update. But that's it. Anything I do about affiliate marketing, aside from the videos I did denouncing a program that I was in where there was a, a bit of a scandal. And if you want to watch that video, you can watch it here, right? <laughs> aside from that, nothing really takes. And you know, I'm not naive. I know I could do a lot better on YouTube. I know I could make much better videos. However, my style is always my style. So the fact that people enjoy my My Legion secret videos, where I'm very much like I am now, just chatting on the screen and showing people little bits and pieces in my back office. So the fact that they enjoy that, but they don't enjoy my affiliate marketing videos, makes me think that it's not something about my style, it's more something about the topic. So right now, I don't know. I don't know where I go with this channel, honestly. I don't know how I continue, what kind of content I continue to do. And if you have any ideas, if you have any, any comments, then please let me know in the comments. I, I, I would love to know, right? One thing I do think is my lead gen secret, for instance, is a traffic method. It's a method to build your list, to have leads. Now, one of the things that I've got quite good at is building my list, particularly through paid advertising. And I'm also quite good at following up with people by email and making sales through email. So that possibly is a topic that interests people. How do you get traffic? How do you convert that traffic into paying customers? And that possibly is something that I can teach more on this YouTube channel if you're interested. Let me know in the comments. But there you go. I'm going to keep this video relatively short. I need to think about this. And what I suggest is I'm going to come back next Friday and let you know how I'm thinking about all this. Maybe 
I'm not quite sure that this is very interesting to you, but it's helping me to, to think and come up with ideas. And I'm going to show you my thought process. And possibly this is interesting and helpful to someone. I don't care if it's not interesting. I want it to be helpful. I want to be helpful. <laughs> so there you go. That's what I will do. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you got started with your small business. And I'll keep you updated. I'll see you next week. And by the way, I do have a video that teaches you how to start affiliate marketing, affiliate marketers for beginners. And you can catch that video just there. Bye for now.